so there's been news reports that the sanitation, which is uh, our plow people, haven't come through certain parts of Queens. So I'm gonna see if they come through my neighborhood. Good afternoon, people. Or good evening, really. It's about like five o'clock. Um, I seen the news that the sanitation hasn't come through certain parts of Queens, like on like the side streets and stuff like that. So I live on the main street, which is fine. Like it's really, really clear, and you know they did a good job. But on the side streets, I'm curious to see how they've done. So I'm gonna go on the side street over here and see what it looks like. I'm actually gonna walk in the street too, which isn't really safe. This is one of our busiest side streets, and I see lots of black top. Um, again, the right side of the street is worse than the left side of the street. But the black top though is pretty damn good. Um, it's easier. Most people on the left side are pretty much dug out, but on the right, that's like a thing. That's a, a whole thing right there. Here's a car. Let me get the street. Let's not get hit by this car. Oh, I used to have that. <laughs> Those are good cars in this now. But yeah, this side street's pretty okay. Now, the further. Wow, look at this car. That's crazy. Damn, and they're on the left side of the street. <laughs> but what's happening is people are shoving out their driveways and piling them up on the side, like that. So they're piling them up on the side or throwing them back in the street. So then you're seeing like sludge and stuff like that, which isn't good. You know, the city's saying that you shouldn't, you know, just when you shovel, don't throw it back in the street and you know, pile on the sidewalk. And you get things like with that, with that car you see. It's not bad out here too, it's not too bad. It's just some assholes just do, decided to throw a stone into the street. So it makes it look bad. And then you get cars that look like this. My car looks like that, but my car's on the main street, so that was kind of expected. No, I'm not digging it out, not right now. Oh. Here comes another car down the street. Let's see, can you see him? Yeah, I think he's stopping. I'm trying to get up the street a little further to these people that are shoveling out. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, there is definitely a car here. So I'm 5'10", and I'm just over that snow mound. But if you guys look in their yard, they piled the snow past their window. Now that's crazy. Today it's all about the cleanup. Oh, they did a damn good job in your driveway. This seems this street needs to be cool, seems to be cool. <laughs> See that's how you do it. You're supposed to get your friends together and help you dig out your car. <laughs> it seems they're doing that. Well look at this car. This is another busy street. It's a side street, but it's a busy street. And it's mostly just slush. But you can see the black side. So far, it's looking like Cindy has done my neighborhood guy. Look at those pretty clouds. <sighs> so pretty. Stop the 
the problem that you're seeing a lot though is like coming from like a main street to a side street where like you get all this slush right like, here. For the most part, a lot of people did their sidewalks, but not everybody. The best place still is to walk in the street. It's not safe, but still the best place to walk. See, once you dig your car out and like you're on like one of those two-way streets, this is the best way to park. Whoops. See how he's parked on an angle? He's in the spot, but he's parked on an angle so he can drive in and drive out a little easier. Now, the one thing I'm noticing is that, okay, in, in Queens, or in the city, it's a law that if you live in a corner, on a corner property, you gotta, you know, do the front and side of your, side of your house, which everybody's doing. But also, if you live on the corner property, you're supposed to dig out to the street, and no one's doing that, which isn't good, which is why most people walk in the street, which I'm trying to figure out how to get back into the street now. Shit. Right, let's go mountain climbing. Whew. Pretty good. Now this is a side street that's not really traveled too, too well. Uh, let's take a look and see what it looks like. Again, I can see blacktop. But what you guys aren't really noticing is this middle stripe here, it's kind of thick. So it's high up. So if you have a low car, you might get stuck. Um, and again, that's most likely from people shoveling their cars out, like this guy here, he's on the right-hand side of the street, and throwing it into the street. Oh, look at this car. This car looks like it's super clean, like it's been just been to the car wash, like it's no snow has run on it. That's really good. What's for a black car? And this guy, he's, he just dug out enough just so he can just drive his car out and that was it. That's one thing about having a, a truck. Wow. Look at all that snow on this car. Now that's crazy. I figured some of you, I figured you guys would want to see what after the blizzard looks like here in New York. Like we got like something like 26 plus inches. I'm saying plus inches because they're saying 26 inches in the city or, or in Central Park. But, like, Queens got something like 30 inches. Brooklyn, for sure, got 30 inches. Um, the Bronx, I think, got a little bit less. I think they got closer to 20 inches. Um, no one cares about Staten Island, so whatever. <laughs> um, but, yeah. This is what it looks like after the blizzard. For the most part, like, people have dug out already. Again, it's 5 o'clock in the evening, so... Most of all that digging and, sh digging and shoveling has been done earlier in the day. I don't necessarily know if this was smart or what. This is their driveway. It's completely dug out. This is the front of their driveway. This car's not dug out. How are they going to get out? But I do understand it though. Like, parking in front of your driveway so you can, you know, basically underneath the car is completely clear for the most part. So when you move the car, when you, don't you do get the car out, you don't have to worry about digging that out. I guess it kind of makes sense. I just wouldn't do it. But then again, now that I think about it, doing that, you're guaranteed a spot on the street. Because, you know, if once you dig out in the street, once you, once you have street parking and you dig out and you take off, someone's going to take your spot. Wow. I wonder if there's a car right here. Let's see. I don't know, I can't really tell. I'm assuming there's a car here, because this pile is high as shit. But, I don't know. Look at the ratio from this SUV here, to this tire, to this thing here. I'm pretty sure there's a car underneath there. And if there is, they're not seeing their car anytime soon. <laughs> like something like this guy here, he can get his car out eventually, but he'll be digging for a while. But that guy there, I don't have to tell him. Wait till spring to see your car. But then you all saw the problem too. Your battery dying and other stuff going bad. For this not to be a for this to be a not so travel street, it's pretty it's done pretty well. 
See, it's hard to tell that if most of the stores are open because today's Sunday and a lot of stores are closed on Sunday anyway. But I did notice that the liquor store is open, which you need your liquor. Chinese store is open, which you need your food. Actually, most food places are open. Surprisingly, the laundromat's open. Not the one I go to, but one of the ones is open. The pharmacy's closed, so you're not gonna get any medications. Yeah, for the most part, like, it's, it's kinda hard to tell because a lot of stores are are closed, but it's also Sunday, so a lot of these stores will be closed no matter what. Like the insurance place is closed, but it's Sunday, so they wouldn't be able to business anyway. The auto place store is closed. Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of difficult to tell. <laughs> hey, it looks like this guy right here is stuck. I don't know if he's trying to get in the spot or get out the spot. He's trying to get in the spot. He got, he's able to get out, but he can't get in the spot. Let's see. And he has four wheel drive, but it's also a Honda CRV, so not exactly an SUV, just a crossover. Hmm. Let me see if I can get from a different angle. Yeah, this guy's definitely trying to get in the spot and he can't get in. The snow's higher than his truck. She should just give it up. I know I would. And she gave it up. She's on her way. So yeah, I seen. Oh, 